Well, I never thought I would miss a Chihuahua as much as I did this one right here. After more than 620 days, the Chihuahuas are back. They were hosting the Isotopes tonight for the home opener. Let's go ahead and show you how it all played out here. And welcome back, Chico. Had the whole ballpark to himself the whole year. Now, welcome to sold out crowd. Mackenzie Gore, number one pitching prospect on the hill for El Paso, struggled early on in this one. Top of the third, topes up one to nothing, and Taylor Motter, that shot to center, will drive in a run to put Albuquerque up two to nothing, but they weren't done later in the inning. This is Greg Bird, sends this one flying like a bird to extend the Isotopes' lead to three to nothing. Chihuahuas, though, would get it going. Bottom seven, down by one, bases loaded for Taylor Coley. Chopper. He's out at first, but it ties up the ball game at three as the runners advance their next, very next batter. Wild pitch, and the dogs will take it, and they'll take the lead as well, up four to three. And this one just went final. The dogs start their home opener in the win column, five to three, the final. You see there, Gore, you know, he had himself a day, slow start, but he settled down in his six innings of work. He allowed eight hits, three runs, and five strikeouts. He retired the last seven batters he faced in the game, so he put the Chihuahuas in good position to pull this one out. Game two between the Isotopes and Chihuahuas tomorrow.